Hello friends. Um, this is the .NET Core application. Um, it is the latest .NET Core 7.0. Um, it's got uh, JavaScript, um, um, CSS files, um, we have a, a bootstrap, bootstrap files. Um, it's got data tables. Basically, the application is for um, uh, for members of a golf club to pay their members membership. So. Um, Everything is in MVC. Uh, we've got model, view, and uh, control. We've got a controller right here. So now let's see if it's now it's running. <clears throat> um, it has a session helper within the session helper. Um, there is a, a shopping cart where you take um, a key value string and convert it into return to a JSON string. Okay, so now let's say you have um, a lot of um, clubs. So instead of scrolling down and looking for the club, you can just type the name of the club here, Minneapolis, and then it will filter out uh, uh, by by, the, by that name. If you say uh, um, you don't have to type the, you can type the middle. If I put the culture, it will filter out call everyone that have culture inside of them. Um, so uh, you can you can also scroll down you can select uh, and scroll down or select scroll down and change um, Alden achieve club <clears throat> so I'm going to choose the Ada natural club now I have um, a num. I have these members in that club. Um, shows you all the members. This you can display all. Display display ten. You can display five of them. Um, you can also. Um, export this into into print and then it will display the logo on the top the logo and then it will display uh, it will print these members um, let's cancel this and uh, if you want to export it into PDF you can export also export it into a PDF that will export it into PDF with the logo on the top and will display all the members in in this PDF file. You can also export it into an Excel file and that will also you can I, I can open the Excel file. This time it's not going to um, it's not going to display the image on the top it will just display it will export this excel file just the members in there okay let's cancel this now export works um, um, you can there are also csv export um, if i also want to import from a file if I have a bunch of 
in an Excel file. So let's say I want to import the, this file. Let's go to um, I have this file. It's on the desktop. It's this one here. And let's say I want to import uh, this this file and then just upload the file. You know this will create duplicates because that um, member already exists. And then let me change this to uh, 50, 55 and save this and import that file again. Um, okay, let's choose this file and then upload. It has successfully uploaded that Excel file, and and then the person is uh, Lula, um, Lua, and then I can search for that name here. Lua is here. Um, just it was previously uploaded, but uploaded two times. Now, um, this search engine is very powerful. Uh, Okay, I can okay. So finish this. Um, I can search by um, any of these fields. Let's say I want to search by phone number seven. It will filter all the numbers that have seven one seven. If I want to filter by um, um, any of the fields if I want to filter uh, first name I can just filter by first name that will filter it by first name then then also if I want to filter by um, last name I can filter by last name I can also do a combination of first and last name. Um, let's go do this. And uh, let's say I I only spelled J J A N J A N, and then it will filter that by that. Um, if I say um, see, I I don't have to spell everything so J A N D U filters by this Jacqueline Duncan okay okay now <clears throat> uh, the purpose of this is um, you can you can select all all members um, you can select all members and then add them to the shopping cart um, or you can um, can select all members and add them to the shopping cart. Um, this, this member, this member uh, has unconfirmed payment, so you cannot add that person because uh, the person has already paid, but it's not being confirmed. But you can add the rest of the people in there. So when after I have selected them, then. I can add them to my shopping cart and all of them has been added to my shopping cart there are 104 of them um, so let's display all so, so all of them has been added to the shopping cart so let's see I want to um, remove all I can remove one selected so Peter Acosta has been removed there's an alert on the top and I can remove that one by one from 103 it's been changed to 102 um, if I want to select two of them and remove the two of them so it's been changed to, to 100 so if I want to change three of them this is going to change into 93 um, or I can select all of them and then let's say remove remove all of them have been selected and remove all all has been selected and now I don't have that shopping cart in here anymore 
so I can add one by one also Betty Betty Ann Acostan has been added to the shopping cart there is Betty Ann Acostan and the, I can add one more I can go back and add Eleanor Aguirre and that's been added and and then I can go here and then edit um, edit that person here um, so now I can put in a phone number in there actually okay Let's say six five one okay so I can add a phone number here um, and then I can go into the payment information I can change the phone number of the payment okay so six one two then I can make a payment now if I go back that payment has been changed um, now you can the, the then you can put this payment information into the PayPal or uh, Google Pay any payment information or any bank pass this to the bank um, now when I'm here also I can import I can import from a member from another club to this club so let's say I search for this in this Suzanne Bass um, doesn't belong to any club so I can add her to Ada club and now if I go to Ada if I go to Suzanne Suzanne Bass is being added to my club here um, but if I go and let's go let's go pass here and I, I want to add that person again she's not there uh, because it's been she's been added to that club I can I don't want to add her again this also is um, completely mobile responsive so let me open this into a new window okay. let me open this to this window here um, there is this that will allow me to open now let's start from the beginning um, um, so okay if, um, the table is being changed into um, and instead of scrolling to the left and to the right it this is an accordion I can expand this and and I can add one at a time this is how it's going to look like on um, on this mobile uh, dif different kind of mobile it will respond then the menu is also different remember this menu was um, this menu here is if you go back here you see the menu on the top is like this uh, but the menu here is a pull down menu it's not at the bar on the top so that um, <clears throat> it works uh, just like the others uh, you can go to any of the uh, forms um, I can go to add again so I can do a search the search also works um, I can go and if I say hey, we'll filter by that um, the uh, <coughs> um, I can do um, import and export um, it, Oh, okay this this won't open preview and this um, okay 
now that is how it's going to look like um, I can select all I can, I can let's go display display all I will display all of them I will display all of them here um, if I can display five of them here I can select all and then add all selected to my shopping cart now my shopping cart will have 105 uh, added into it okay uh, let's go to make a uh, when you are in the payment information the payers information the payer that whose credit card is going to be used um, this is how it's going to look like in your uh, in your phone on smaller devices um, so it is completely uh, I can import a member and then I can import the dismember So let's go here. So I can import this member to the table. Okay. Um, the image also is is responsive. It becomes smaller on the on the smaller devices. So everything works um, and it's also responsive. Okay. And edit the, the edit window is going to look like this on a smaller device. So you, I don't have to scroll to the left and to the right uh, to get into the uh, to this form. I can just go there. Um, and then one more thing here is um, let's go and I'd like to show you something. Let's go um, in here. Want to go to the shopping cart here, and then let's go. And I want to want to add a new a new member that okay, it's not there. So this window doesn't open everything. I can type in any zip code. Um, so if I type in five five one zero one, it will open up, and then it knows already knows. This is located in St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, so let's go. We can Google any zip code. Um, so let's go. Um, let's go zip code of Hawaii. And then let's type this zip code in there. Let's see if it will know. Um, address here I can type that in that knows also Hawaii area this is area Hawaii and Aloha Hawaii this one this is a zip code of Aloha Hawaii and I can type in this zip code there will open Aloha Hawaii this is an API lookup um, of the zip code uh, you can use a Google lookup or a post office lookup to look up for the zip code this takes place in my application um, where, where there is a, a, a zip code. Uh, look up, this is where where I'm getting the uh, the zip code, and uh, it get it gives me the uh, based on the zip code, it'll give me the 
city and state. The city and state gets populated based on the zip code. If I change this to 55101, uh, we'll change this to St. Paul, Minnesota, right there. Okay, 554226, uh, we'll change this to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay, and uh, my pull down is here also. This is it. Thank you.